All right, how we doing? I think this thing's recording. Uh, it says driving on. Yeah, it's recording. Um, all right, and good morning, everybody. I know I've just said that, but um, I'm just going to the gym. It's currently half past six in the morning. Um, standard stuff. Keep your consistency. Rule number three. I need to revisit them. I really do. I keep saying it, but I'm not doing it. I'm living in the problem. Not action, not creating a solution, and then action in that solution, taking action, and that's what I'm doing at the minute with my sobriety. But sobriety, is that I need to talk to you today. Well, I think it's the right time to talk about my faith, um, how it started, and you know what I currently believe. Um, nine months ago, <coughs> <coughs> I didn't believe in God. It's not that I didn't not believe I want one of these religion bashes or the religions can have their faults um, for various reasons um, I'm not here to you know no opinions and things like that but um, so I had no idea of the advent the, the, um, the existence of God um, and then I was on a trip to somewhere in Longridge, we're meeting on Longridge on a Monday night and I'm driving home in the pouring rain, it's pitch black and I've got my GPS on you, well no that's not the right, no, on the way there I used my GPS to get exactly where I needed to get to you um, and it got me there safe and sound in an orderly manner, yeah. orderly is a key good word there um, and then coming home, I didn't turn my up, my sat nav on, and I, I, was, I got a bit lost. And um, I did find my way back, and but I was just uneasy, and it was it was, it was a scary experience. It was yeah, it was scary, and, but then I kind of realised that that's what. God had been doing, you know, that, that that's kind of what the recovery program had done. It gave me some good orderly direction. Then, well, it, it guided me to the right path. I got ahead of myself again. Then in the next meeting I went to, somebody talked about their understanding of God as a good orderly direction. And I went, ooh. I had a light bulb moment. So I thought, hang on a minute. That's... That, that, that's that's the that is at that point that was the god of my understanding that the god is kind of my GPS that he is getting me where to where I need to be you know and it, it was a, certainly a better path than um, than the one I was on um, uh, yeah I'm just arrived at the gym now um, I'll leave this because yeah. So that was kind of like stage one. Suddenly I thought, hang on a minute, there's, there's, there's something at work here. And then I started looking at the, the the circumstances surrounding my comeback from recovery. I was on the brink. I was on my knees, desperate, praying, God, come and help me. I, I didn't see a way out. I was suicidal. I, had to, I couldn't see a future. But he arranged things in such a manner. I'm not going to go into them here either, but people know what happened. People who don't know. Um, he arranged things that, even though I was staring at the, the the very brink, he sent someone to pull me back from that brink. Um, just some, it was. I thought it was a coincidence at the time, but then those coincidences kept happening and happening and happening and happened more and more and more and more and more. That just things would arrange themselves in ways that was more than a coincidence and I started doing the daily I saw so, you know I was talking to my counselor about this and I and and I was given a prep a, a, a Bible it just popped out of the blue that I've been trying to read the King James's Bible and it is it's obtuse it's full of these and those and he begats this and so this person my counselor met took give me the uh, just like a, a red a little red you know, New Testaments and Proverbs book, which is a good, I love that, it's, uh, and every day I started, and I started doing the daily readings, and 
the the daily readings would give me instructions for that day and, and then I started going to church as well and uh, yeah because at the back of the book it says if you want to know more then go to your local church and because church on the street had been so good to me and literally you know it brought, brought me you know pulled me back from the rink as it was the obvious choice yeah it's a, <coughs> a good choice and Things have gone on and on and on and on and on. The, the, the Gospels that, that Bishop Mick always comes out with speak to me directly. You know, sometimes I think he's in my head. But then God's in your head. He, he's got you've no secrets from God. Um, what, what finally... What finally sort of pushed it over was, was as a reading I was doing with my sponsor and it talks about God is everything or he's nothing. And but all these coincidences and all these things that have gone on have been haven't been nothing. So you know Sherlock Holmes says when you've eliminated the impossible, whatever improbable is the truth is is left. That is the truth. So we've got two situations: either God exists or it doesn't. Get rid of that. God exists, and that's really where my beliefs kind of. St you know, faith has come through the, the step work. I have faith in. If I work the programme, I will get better. Which is what I've not been doing lately, but that's a topic for another discussion. And this video is going on quite long, so I'm conscious of that. And I need to get my, my gym. I've just arrived at the Fitness Palace of Love. Um, So yeah, now I attend church regularly. I spend time in the cafe, not too much, because I need balance in my life. Because I kind of, I can be all over the place, as people have seen on the last, last few videos. But you got to get balance in your life, you know. I know people that have been completely blinded by, by faith, um, to the point they're ignoring relationships and. You know, but that's that's not. I don't. I don't think God wants us to be blinded by His light. I don't want He wants us to be, to walk in it. Um, not be blinded by it. So, and honestly, I've never been. I've never been up here really. You know, I've had some torrid times this week. But faith in the problem. Faith. Well, faith has sustained me. So yeah, I now believe in God. Um, I believe in Jesus and the resurrection. And then he went to the cross, um, took the fall for us. Um, and this is a person that, that, well, yeah, six months ago I was in a real mess. Well, but I'm better now. Ish. Well, I am when I'm paying attention and doing what I should be doing. So. Anyway, I'm going to leave it now, um, so because I need to get my sweat on. So, yeah, thanks for listening. I know this video has gone particularly long, but um, you notice I'm trying to speak slower and um, not gavel everything out. That's it. Like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to come back tomorrow, and I'll see you there.